All right, so me and Cole are out here. We're just at the house. And today we're going to be practicing um, shed I mean shed hunting. Basically what we're going to be doing is he's got these sheds right here. These are some sheds that I found uh, this spring. And we're going to be, well, he's first he's going to be walking out there and not yet. He's going to walk out there and um, <clears throat> set him down and kind of hide him. And I'm going to be uh, walking out there and trying to find him. It's basically just like shed hunting, but you know there's an antler there. And if you guys haven't ever tried this, you should because you'll be surprised how many you actually walk by when somebody knows that there's one there that you walk by. I've done it. He's done it. It's just amazing that you, how easy you can walk by these sheds. We're going to do a couple. We'll do like two videos here and maybe go in the woods and do a video there too. So let's get to it. All right, so it is a pretty sunny day. Usually the cloudy days are the best to look for sheds. And it kind of helps. We got our trees planted here, so I'm just going to be walking between this row that way I can look at both these rows at the same time. And uh, well, I'll let you know when I find one. Oh, there! Oh, actually, I didn't even shot the camera. There's the big one. That's the easiest of the three. I actually stepped on that one last year in a grassy area, just like this. I can't believe I stepped on that last year. Here, hold on to that. Now we got two other smaller year and a half year old. Um, I mean, there's sheds out here, so let's see if I can find them. Oh, right there! Look at that. Right. Let's come over here. I mean, you gotta make sure you, you when you, if you do this, you guys, you gotta make sure you you set them on the ground like they would actually fall, like especially fresh sheds. You can't just go like that and hide them. I mean, you're gonna find maybe an old one like that, but a fresh one's just gonna be on the ground. Now I got one more out here. All right, when we're doing this too, he's not he's not going to be telling me if I walk by it because I mean that that makes it pointless. You gotta keep looking until you find it. You don't want to let the other guy know when he walks by it. So that's another tip. All right, guys, that's what I'm talking about. This the first time I saw this shed was literally right there. I'm literally like less than a yard away. So I mean, it's very easy to just walk right by these things without even seeing them. So well, now it's Cole's turn. I'll let him. I'm gonna go set him. Set him down, he'll try to find him now. Alright, Cole's turn. Go out there and find him. Usually when we're doing this, we usually start on one side and kind of work our way to the other side. But it's probably about half acre in size that we're looking for three sheds here. So I mean, we got the little guy out here too helping. Yeah, that's the big one. Can I keep this home? No, you're not taking that home. That's mine. Oh. You got to find another one. I thought you meant we were doing it for real. No, this is just practice. All right, Cole, got to go on the antler two here. Can I hold it? Yeah. Those? Wait. Is there any up there? Yep, see I'm talking about you get like a yard from it and then you find it. Yep. That's the way it is. It's this tough. Okay, you got one more. Next time. Hmm. Do you hear anyone? There it is. Yep, almost walked by it. Yeah. A little three point side there, pick it up. <laughs> oh. This time can I hide it? Me too. Harold and Cole are trying to find him now. There's still two out here, they picked up the big one right away. Oh. That's not going to be in there. Yep, you got it. That was a good one. No, I need to touch it first to get it. <laughs> okay, so we're in a little bit of woods right here, and Cole's gonna go hide these sheds, and I'm gonna try to find them. It's a little later now. You can see it's not as sunny, so hopefully, it'll be a little easier now. And it's a little bit more cloudy. So go. So I first saw it from right here. You can see that's the big four-point side right there. Yeah, I still got two more little ones to find. 
Oh, right there. Look at that. That was a good find. I saw that probably from, oh, I'd say, I don't know, six, five, six yards. That's good placement. I like how you're placing That's spots you'd actually find them on, like right in there, you know, like gear bed or something. So we got one more. All right, so I walked all the way through and didn't find the last one, and I'm having to backtrack my steps. Can't believe I missed it. All right, so I finally found it. That's actually a, that's actually a pretty legit spot. I mean, that's gonna be a nice little spot for a deer to bed down. Can't believe I walked right through here like twice. Two, you yeah, twice. Twice. Well, if you're up next, Mister, so let's see how good you can do. Yeah. Bam. Really? Good one. You see that arc in the main beam there? I'm down. I saw that from a good distance. As you can see, we got a nice little soybean food plot right here. We're actually hoping to find a shed maybe out there, maybe in here this year. You don't see it? Huh? There it is. Okay. One more. You missed one. Gotta go back again. Yeah. That's how we can see it. You stepped right on it almost. Yeah, not hey, stay there. Look at that. I knew it was like this far away from it. Yeah, I know. It kind of blends in with the leaves a little bit. Yeah. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go like, comment, or subscribe. And especially subscribe because we got some awesome shed hunting videos coming up this spring. Me and Cole are going to be out looking hard. Found 30 last year. I got, I think, four or five good videos of shed hunting. So, make sure you go check them out. And I guess till next time, see you guys.